What was kind of what was your first thoughts when Coach told you you were going to play in the middle this year? Um, at first I was shocked, but I mean it's been pretty it's been a pretty easy transition so far, just because mm -hmm. I've played middle before in high school. Mm -hmm. So just getting back to it, just kind of grabbing my roots again. But so far it's been pretty good, and I think that it's been pretty easy. And I think that in the future that maybe I can grow more in this position. Playing outside last year, what are the what are the differences from playing outside to playing middle? What are things that you had to work on to be successful in the middle? Um, outside and middle are like two completely different positions. I mean, sure you hit, but the transition to like hitting the ball, mm -hmm. it's a lot wider on the outside. So that was like really tough for me to kind of get down. And then also in the middle, you have to block a lot more. Mm -hmm. So my cardio has to be a lot better, but I'm getting used to it. Um, and I need to block a lot more. So it's two different positions. You had 11 blocks against St. Peter's. You know, what, what is working for you there. You talk about your work. You're trying to be work on it more. But what are you? What are your keys with that block? Uh, just kind of reading the setter. Just like seeing where her hands are really helps out. So you can just like get there before the ball's there. So just been doing that. Um, last question. You know, you've played Niagara twice last year. What is it? Is it different? Do, does the team put more emphasis on it, or do you try to keep it? Or it's, you know, it only counts as one of the standings. But there's also you know sometimes it feels like there's more important. Uh, yeah, there's like, everyone kind of gets a little bit more nervous just because it's Niagara and we have all the posters around here saying beat Niagara, but I think it's going to be a pretty good game. We might have a big turnout of fans, who knows, but it's going to be exciting to watch. Put Jackie in the middle this year, you know, how, have, how do you think she's done with that transition? Uh, you know, Jack played middle in high school, so um, she was at least familiar with standing mm -hmm. in the middle of the net. The, the speed of play um, is still probably giving her a little bit of angst, uh, but, but she's been productive and she's been working hard. And you know, she, she filled a void um, due to an injury that uh, you know we would have been in a lot more trouble hadn't she done that. She talks about you know she's really working on the block a lot. She had 11 blocks there on Saturday. And what is she doing well there to help with that block, which has been a, a key component of this program. Over the years. Yeah, one of the things we do when we work on blocking is it's opposite what you would instinctually do. She's trying to stay calmer so her read is faster versus being all uptight, which essentially freezes you when you're blocking. So we're literally trying to call what's coming at us earlier, be a little bit more prepared before the attack is coming, um, but then starting more neutral and relaxed so that we can be um, quicker and more effective. And you challenge the team, you know, to kind of look at themselves after that loss to Ryder. What have you seen kind of? seen in practice to try to hopefully get you guys back on track. You know what? This has been the best week of practice we've had. You know, some people had some breakthrough moments. They, they did a lot of uh, self-reflection and, and assessment. And at the end of the day, you know, they're still a very talented team. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we just have to get a little bit grittier. Um, you know, it's been a lot of Kenesha's, part of a lot of Kenesha's Niagara matches. You know, it's probably not hard for you to get up, and I would think not hard for them to get up. But how do you try to handle that match because there's obviously a lot of emphasis on it but you know, it's still you know one win or one loss how yeah. do you handle it with your program it, it doesn't matter what the records are it doesn't matter how how well one team's playing you know the records get thrown out the window and it, and it really is a true crosstown rivalry and you know i think on both sides of the net everyone's going to be revved up and then maybe 10 points into the match we'll settle into our game and you know, hopefully with some somewhat of a, a bigger home crowd than they would hope to ha have a visiting crowd, mm -hmm. you know, we can get a win and, and, and take some energy with that going into next weekend.